This is Dion with Cold Pioneers. I wanted to answer the question, do you have to be good at math to learn how to code? A lot of heavy hitters in the industry have answered this question. Bill Gates is on a record as saying no. Uh, even Steve Jobs, before he passed, weighed in on it when he made the statement that he believed everybody should learn how to program because he said it teaches you how to think. So basically to me that meant like people who are considered bad at math too. But I want to answer this question from like a different viewpoint because like what does it actually mean to be good or bad at something, right? Like sometimes you could be bad at something just because you don't like it. It doesn't really mean that like you can't do it or you could never learn how to do it or improve in it if you actually uh, practiced certain concepts in it or was taught a certain way that allowed you to learn it best. And so uh, sometimes it's not about uh, being good or bad at something. So with math, it's not about being good or bad at it, uh, but maybe just your interest in math. All right, and so uh, sometimes we have bad experiences with math, right? And that stays with us the rest of our lives and we just feel that we're bad at math. And it can affect things like learning how to program. I hated math in school. I almost failed high school because of math. I had to go to summer school uh, because I basically failed advanced algebra uh, with trigonometry. I hated advanced algebra trig. And then I remember my uncle saying like, you know, when I had to go to summer school, he comes up to me talking about like, oh, why did you do this to yourself? Like, we mean do this to myself. Like, why did math do this to me, right? <laughs> like, I'm my own enemy. No, math is the enemy. Math has me in summer school right now. You know, math has me questioning whether I'm gonna walk across this stage and graduate or not. So it's not me, it's math. Um, but <laughs> anyway, you know, sometimes it's about just a negative view of yourself. And that could be a hindrance when it comes to learning how to program, uh, just your relationship with math. So let's take a look here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And we'll see uh, how your negative view of yourself with math could almost stop you from learning how to program all together. And so let's look at this. So I'm going to go here on Google and I'm going to go to W3Schools Online Web Tutorials. Pretty much everybody who's in the web development industry has been on this website at some point, either by accident or on purpose. Look at this, the world's largest web developer site. Like, if you have not accidentally tripped and fell onto this website, like, are you really a web developer? Come on, are you really learning how to code? Now, a lot of people don't like the site for whatever reason, but you should have at least accidentally bumped into this site. So here we go. First thing, like, when you're learning how to code, the first thing everybody learns especially when it comes to like web development is HTML right the language for building web pages HTML is super easy like if you can if you can make a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc like write a simple essay on a Google Doc or pages if you're using a Mac like you can write HTML like look at this this is pretty easy right H1 is like your heading, just like you have a heading on a Microsoft Word document. A P tag is for like paragraphs, right? And you got your uh, body and, you know, this little stuff is meaningless really here, you know. Um, but basically, HTML is just like making a Microsoft Word document. You know, you learn a couple of these little syntax things and you're good to go. So you see this when you start learning how to code and you're like, cool, Bill Gates was right. There's no math involved. I'm good to go, which is great because I hate math, right? So you go down to CSS and it says, like it says here, the language for styling web pages. So it makes 
web pages look pretty let's see let's try it for yourself oh this is pretty right just like it says here background color we want that to be light blue which it is we want this heading to be white like that which it is set here the color of that uh, heading one is white we want it to be aligned the text to be aligned center which it is very nice just like a microsoft word document this is a paragraph are you sure well there it is uh there's the p tags here this is a paragraph meaning it is a paragraph so once again didn't really run into too much math uh the font size is 20 pixels but hey you need some numbers right and once again just like a microsoft word document or google docs you could change the font size so that's pretty easy but um we didn't run into any math but now let's let's look at some programming here um some like actual programming now when i first learned how to program i learned programming concepts and python um, python is considered to be um, the closest language to like modern day English as far as writing programming and look this is like basically um, uh, introducing you to Python so let's look at some syntax here so we understand what's going on so print hello world and you'll see hello world so this is usually everybody's first program that they write is they give birth to a program that says hello world I'm here I'm ready and once again with this little basic program you have not um, done anything with math really so now you're 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 feeling good you're like man Steve Jobs is right um, Bill Gates is right I'm a programmer now I just wrote my first program look out Mark Zuckerberg I'm about to make like the next like social media platform and be a billionaire because i just made hello world <laughs> so let's look at some javascript right so um if you're gonna be a web developer you are not about to not learn javascript that's just that's not gonna happen so now here's where you could get into some problems at because uh, one of the first concepts you'll learn in programming in the actual programming language is this concept of variables here and like it says variables are containers for storing data values what does that mean well look at this so this var um, which is, this is a little bit older um, older language of uh, older way to write this here in JavaScript um, but anyway so var means variable x equals 5 all right um, variable x uh, variable y equals 6 now variable z equals x plus y and you're like wait a minute you know if I didn't know any better this I'd say this was algebra right now if you go down look much like algebra now here you're like wait a minute now I thought you said I didn't have to be good at math like I barely I barely got a C in algebra I couldn't I, as hard as I worked I couldn't get over a C in this class I had to cheat to pass I got a D I went to summer school to pass <laughs> this class <laughs> and now you're telling me the most simplest concept in programming is algebra I'm ready to quit right <laughs> this is like this is not what I thought I was going to run into so watch out for this 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 to me has stopped a lot of people from advancing past HTML and CSS once they start uh, uh, learning this because look look what the next lesson is operators look at look at this multiplying adding javascript arithmetic operators look at all of this math you're starting to learn now and you're thinking you're about to avoid math just because bill gates said you don't have to be good in math but now keep in mind as he said you don't have to be good at math <laughs> 
It say like you're going to void this all together. It doesn't matter what type of website you're creating. You are not avoiding math. And especially when it comes to basic algebra, it doesn't matter that it's easy. Uh, and let's look at this as an example here. Let's go back to um, Google's Google's homepage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the mobile view of that. Let me refresh so it actually loads the mobile site. Now you see this little hamburger menu right here. I want to inspect this hamburger menu. And this is like, this is the element over here that controls this menu. Once I click it, you'll see over here that like stuff happens in the, in the in here that's changing this. I click that and boom, this menu comes up, right? Now that was nice. This here, uh, especially if like, if you're not using something that makes this easy like some type of javascript library or framework if you're using just raw code uh, most developers have to use an algebraic expression to make this functionality happen what do i mean by that let's go back to uh, let's go back to w3 schools and let's go down to the for loop And if, when we look at the syntax of a for loop, look at this algebraic expression in this loop here. I equals zero. I is less than like this right here. This, there's some algebra in there. And if you're writing like raw code, you uh, are going to have to write this algebraic expression just to make like that hamburger menu open up on a website so you cannot avoid uh, math um, and if you view yourself as being bad at math you have a negative view of yourself or well, low self-esteem or even a hatred or disdain for math once you get to variables and loops you could possibly come to the conclusion that programming is not for you. And reality is, it is basic math. Uh, the type of math that you're using is the same type of math that you use as an adult to manage your finances. It is not complex, but because you have a certain view of math, it could make you not like programming or feel that you can't program. Now, it makes me think about like when I had this chemistry class once in school, and this is on my schedule as like a science class. So I go into this classroom thinking I'm gonna have some fun. Like, where's my lab coat? <clears throat> Where are all the different color chemicals at, right? Where's the beakers, the test tubes, and the flats? You know, I wanna run some experiments, make some chemicals like boil or halfway blow up the school. So this is on my schedule and I'm looking for all of this stuff. I get in the class and we had this teacher, Mr. Duck. And Mr. Duck made me want to duck up out of that school <laughs> or duck out of his classroom because it literally was just him writing formulas on a board, you know, that we had to solve. It was just another math class. And I'm like, wait, I hate math. Like, now, because I hate math, I hate this class. <laughs> so, and I don't think I did better in a C in that class either. But that could happen in programming. You're looking to make like a cool app or a beautiful website. And you listen to, to people that saying, you know, basically, you don't have to be good at math. Do not take that and think that that means don't worry about math at all. So fix your relationship with math. If you all had a bad relationship, you broke up, like math went its separate ways. You went this way, math went that way. You told math, I don't ever want to see you again. You know, don't call me. <laughs> don't write me, don't text me. Don't friend me on Facebook. Um, 
call math back up and say, math, I'm sorry. You know, let's make this work because I'm trying to learn how to code. And me and you, have, we got to be cool for this to happen. Uh, mentally, you have to be prepared for that. So <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.